From sprawling world-class museums to breathtaking natural wonders, Green Bay, Wisconsin is a city that boasts countless attractions that are well worth your time. Beyond that, it's a beer lover or foodie's dream come true. Stay tuned as Vucation presents the best things to do in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Bay Beach Wildlife Sanctuary and Amusement Park where else in Wisconsin can you ride everything from roller coasters to bumper cars and even a classic Ferris wheel for under a buck? Some rides at the Bay Beach Amusement Park even cost as little as a quarter. On top of that, parking and admission to this historic park are completely free. Talk about a good deal. Across the road from the amusement park, you'll find the Bay Beach Wildlife Sanctuary. This beautifully preserved plot of land allows guests to take an up-close peek at Wisconsin's delicate ecosystem. Bring your camera, as this place is perfect for bird watchers and nature lovers. Recently, the park installed a new artificial waterfall, which is one of the best spots to snap a family photo. Lambeau Field this stadium is the Packers' home turf. It opened in 1957 and has gone through several renovations since then. As such, what you see when visiting Lambeau Field today is a more defined and refined version of what has been drawing in thousands of people regularly for the past 60-plus years. Throughout the country, there are few football stadiums that get as crowded as this one. To say that cheeseheads love football is an understatement. Tours start with the field and wind up at the next featured destination we'll be looking at. Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame This massive space comprises an area of more than 15,000 square feet and is filled from floor to ceiling with mementos, relics, and photos that document the Packers' history of excellence. The building has two floors to explore and can be found within the Lambeau Field Atrium. New Zoo and Adventure Park Open seven days a week, 365 days a year, this fabulous zoo is home to more than 90 different species of animals from all over the world. You can flush out your experience by putting your skills to the test at the facility's 1,000-foot racing zipline course. There's also an aerial adventure course and a 40-foot climbing wall. If you consider yourself an animal lover and adrenaline junkie, this is the perfect attraction for you. The Art Garage Situated inside of a 100-year-old Cream City brick building, the Art Garage is one of the best places in town to see the arts. It's also a fantastic spot to attend hands-on classes and live events. Green Bay Botanical Garden Green Bay Botanical Garden was built and organized by a team of dedicated nature lovers in the 70s. These aspiring minds had the idea to open up what would eventually evolve into one of the leading educational and horticultural attractions in Wisconsin. The garden spans an area of nearly 50 acres and offers fun things to do for children and adult visitors, so it's one of the best attractions in the city for families. Here you can see more than 65,000 plants, a children's garden, a perennial garden as well. Springtime is the most popular time of year to visit as there are an abundance of colorful flowers in bloom. During the summer, the facility hosts outdoor concerts at the amphitheater. During holidays, you can see the holiday light show while also taking a trek through its snowshoeing trails. If you're planning on visiting Green Bay for a week or more, you might want to consider enrolling in one of the Botanical Garden's adult classes. They offer a wide variety of courses covering topics like papermaking, herbs and health, and even Civil War botanicals. National Railroad Museum while the U.S. is home to numerous railroad museums, the National Railroad Museum of Green Bay is the only one in the country that is congressionally designated. Despite this status, the museum doesn't receive any city, state, or federal funding. Instead, it's operated as a nonprofit educational organization. The museum got its start with the idea of preserving the city's steam locomotives. In 1956, it was established as a full-fledged railroad museum. These days, the museum spans more than 30 acres and features over 70 pieces of tracks and rolling stock. One of the most famous pieces on display include Big Boy, number 4017, one of 25 Union Pacific locomotives housed indoors. Big Boy weighs over a million pounds and is close to 50 yards in length. With hands-on children's exhibits, portable train cars, and rare railroad artifacts, this museum is sure to be a hit with visitors of all ages. Guests can even take a ride around the museum on a functioning steam train. Heritage Hill State Park 
This park is a must-visit for history buffs. It's situated on the banks of the Fox River and comprises an area of 60 acres. Within the park is an outdoor museum divided into four areas – Fort Howard, Growing Community, the Fur Trade, and Belgian Farmstead. As you explore these exhibits, you'll receive a revealing glimpse back in time at the history of Green Bay's industry. The fur trade area gives visitors a look at what the beginning of Wisconsin's fur trade industry looked like. The Growing Community exhibit educates visitors about Green Bay's expansion in the late 19th century. Over at Belgian Farmstead area, you can see how immigrant farming had an impact on Green Bay's history in the 20th century. And at Fort Howard, you can see a faithful reconstruction of the original fort built during the War of 1812. Heritage Hill State Park features 24 buildings related to Green Bay's past, many of which were moved here from other locations while others were reconstructed. Some of the historical buildings that you can see include an old schoolhouse, cotton house, and fur trade cabin. One of the most entertaining things about this outdoor museum is the costumed performers who help bring it to life. As you explore the grounds, you'll see folks in period-appropriate garb doing things like pounding away art iron in the blacksmith building or participating in military drills at Fort Howard. Neville Public Museum this museum was named after Green Bay's 25th mayor, Arthur Neville. It's a general-purpose museum dedicated to science, art, and history, and features a wide array of artifacts tied to the region. Since opening in 1915, the museum has accumulated more than a million items, ranging from football memorabilia to dinosaur fossils. Current exhibits feature things like artwork, films, photographs, archaeological objects, and historical artifacts. Outside the museum, you'll be greeted by a sizable mixed-media art display comprised of steel, vinyl, and digital print media. These installations are meant to symbolize various facets of the state's history and were made by a team of local artists. You'll also find an entrance to what's called the Packers Heritage Trail. This self-guided tour will tell you the story of the people and places who have played a contributing role in the Green Bay Packers history. Maps of the trail are available within the museum at the front desk. Peninsula State Park with 18 miles of pristine shoreline, an 18-hole golf course, a lighthouse, hiking and biking trails, and more than 500 campsites, this park is unlike any other in the area. It's the perfect destination for nature-loving families and features numerous outdoor activity opportunities like canoeing, kayaking, and cycling. If you work up an appetite, head over to the Nicolette Bay Camp Store to fill up on pizza, burgers, and ice cream. If you're planning a camping trip, this store will be a lifesaver. At the Northern Sky Theaters, families can watch live theatrical and musical performances during the summer months. We also highly recommend touring the Eagle Bluff Lighthouse. It's more than 150 years old and still guides ships through the Strawberry Channel. In 1970, it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Meyer Theater Initially known as the Fox Theater, the Meyer Theater was established in 1930, built in the Art Deco and Spanish Colonial Revival architectural styles. Initially, it was created as a movie and vaudeville house and was owned by William Fox of the Fox Theaters Corporation. In time, that company grew into what is now known as the Fox Media Empire. This historic theater has featured performances from legends like Louis Armstrong, Nat King Cole, and Dale Evans. Today, the theater hosts more than 170 performances and 70,000 guests annually. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Green Bay? If so, did we miss any of your favorites? And if not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.